you need to know how to reach out to business owners to explain this to them and basically convince them to pay you to do this for them. I recommend actually pulling up this blog post so that you can walk them through the importance of Yo, what is up guys, Paul James here, and in this video, what I'm gonna share with you is how to make $100 per day as a kid. And the cool part about this method is that it can be done relatively fast. Now before we get into this video and I break this down, what I'd like you to do is hit that like button if you are excited to make $100 per day. And if you're new to the channel, again, I'm Paul James, what is up? Welcome, this is the place where I teach you how to start businesses, give you entrepreneurial advice, and just motivation to actually get going. So if you'd like, go drop below this video and hit that subscribe button, and after you subscribe, comment saying I've subscribed and I will reply back to you. I love my new YouTube subscribers and I am just so excited that you're here with me today. So I don't wanna wait any longer. This video was inspired from a previous video I did that got a really great response and what you're gonna do is you're going to provide a service that takes you just minutes to provide and people will pay you at least $100 to do this for them I'm gonna even show you how to get people to pay you for it so I'm gonna show you how to provide the service in minutes and how to get people to pay you for it right now on the computer let's go if you ain't all right guys, so let's get into this and kind of show you an example first of exactly what this looks like and what we're looking for. And then I'm gonna show you how to implement it and how to basically automate it. So if I go into Google and I type in plumber, West Bend, Wisconsin, or whatever city you wanna target, just you know target whatever you want, something near you, doesn't matter. Go in there and scroll down and start clicking on some of the pages that pop up. And what we're looking for is we're looking for pages that do not have an SSL certificate. Okay, so this is basically a security certificate that signifies that the site is secure. It's an extra layer of security that is going to make the site safe to browse. Now, a large majority of local business owners do not have this certificate installed. And the way you can check it is using the Chrome browser. Come up here at the top on this info button and click it. And see where it says right here, your connection to this site is not secure. That is what we're looking for. Now, what happens is eventually Google's going to start displaying not secure whenever uh, sensitive information is, is impacted. Like, let me show you an example. Here's a login page to one of my sites. Do you see how up here it automatically shows not secure? Well, what Google has said is that they're going to roll out changes to make this appear on more sites, even if it, it doesn't have like a login form, even if it's just like a regular site. Here's actually the blog post that kind of explains that if you want to check it out. Um, you could just go and Google Chromium uh, SSL information and it'll show you basically what's going on here. But you can see here that they're going to show not secure warning in two additional situations. So basically that they're moving towards this. Um, right here, passwords and credit cards are not the only data types that should be private. Any type of data that users type into websites. So this could be contact forms, which almost every website has. Eventually, we will plan to show the not secure warning for all HTTP pages, even outside in cognito mode. So this is something that they're working towards and that they're implementing. And it also affects search engine rankings by not having this certificate in there. So you can essentially go out there and offer to help business owners get this certificate installed. And you could charge whatever you want for this, whether you want to charge $100, $200, $500, Realistically, it's worth it because if the business owner doesn't have this installed, doesn't know how to do it, then they're gonna be willing to pay you to do it because this is something that they need. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to approach them and how to install it. So let's talk about how to install it first because that's probably what you're wondering, how to install it. You know how to find them. I'll show you how to automate that process. Let's talk about how to install it and then we'll talk about how to approach them. So here's a site of mine that doesn't have it installed, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to cloudflare.com cloudflare is a free website that you can get an ssl certificate on they have paid plans but as you can see all of mine are set to free websites so what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the upper right hand corner we're going to hit add site and we're going to type in the url of our client site and we're going to hit begin scan now this process does take a little while it won't take that long but it does take a little while so just be patient Okay, so that finished scanning, we have a continue setup button. Before we get into that though, I just wanna point something out. Check out Cloudflare's site. See how it has this nice bright green thing that shows a lock icon? 
right? That looks a lot safer than, you know, the not secure logo or just like an info button. Okay, so that's that's why it's beneficial to do this. So we're gonna go to continue setup. Now it'll automatically go and select the traffic that should be protected with Cloudflare and basically give you the SSL certificate. Uh, but basically the two that you're really concerned with in most scenarios is the A record that has the actual domain name and the C name that has the www. So we're gonna leave that as is and we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. Now this is where it lets you select a plan and we're gonna go with free website, which you can see includes the SSL certificate. We'll hit continue on that. Awesome, now the only thing left to do is to go into your client's domain registrar and change the name servers. So you can see these are my current name servers. I need to change them to these. So my registrar is Namecheap. So inside of Namecheap, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna search for that domain and I've got a lot of domains in here. So let's find it here. Okay, I'm gonna hit manage on that. And here's my domain name settings right here. So I just need to delete these two and swap them out with this one. There's one and there's two. And hit this check mark to save it. And that's it. Now, domain name servers you can see can take up to 48 hours to update. So sometimes they'll update quickly and sometimes they can take up to two days. It just depends. There's really no rhyme or reason why it takes longer than others, but we'll go ahead and hit continue and see what happens. So you can see here right now, it still says website not active because the DNS change didn't take a c effect yet. But once it does, it'll show that it is protected and that it's working. I refreshed it and you can see that it's now active. And one thing that I like to do is you can check the site to make sure it's working by just typing HTTPS in front of the domain name and it'll now say secure. If you wanna force it to secure throughout the entire site, you can use a WordPress plugin if the site is running WordPress, or you can just simply contact your web host or your client's web host and ask them to go and actually push that through for you. If you wanna do it on your own without asking the host and it's on WordPress, the plugin to use is called Really Simple SSL. You literally just download and activate the plugin and it works. So now that we know how to install the SSL certificate, you need to know how to reach out to business owners to explain this to them and basically convince them to uh, pay you to do this for them, right? So let me show you how to do that. I recommend actually pulling up this blog post so that you can walk them through the importance of the certificate as well. And you can, you can do this if you want, but this is kind of optional. The other thing I recommend you pull up is their website. And I actually recommend that you use a tool called Loom. Okay, now Loom is a free tool. It puts this little thing on your browser. You can see there I am talking in the left-hand corner. And you can turn that off if you want. You don't have to show that. You can choose to show your entire desktop, which is probably what you're gonna wanna do so you can flip in between the browsers. And then you can turn your mic on, whichever mic you want to use. So this is the one I like to use, which is the one I'm talking into right now. And then whatever camera you wanna use. If you're on a Mac, you can select FaceTime or you know whatever camera you wanna use is fine. Um, okay, so I've just selected all of that good stuff. I'm gonna turn my camera off. If you're um, younger and you don't want to show your face because you think it'll discredit you, I understand I came from um, a position where I was in a band at the time when I first started and I had really long hair. I thought business owners wouldn't take me seriously. So you just turn your camera off if you want or you can choose to just email people. But I'm telling you that this method works really well if you actually go and do it this way. So basically here's what you do. You hit start recording and this is kind of what you do. If you can find out the business owner's name, that helps as well. We'll just pretend his name is Bob. So this is what I would do. I'd hit record and I would say, Hey Bob, what's up? My name is Paul. I came across your website today and noticed that the connection to your website is not secure. You can see I'm in Google Chrome and when I come up here, it says the connection to your site is not secure. You may be wondering why it says that and how you can fix it. Well, here's a blog post that Google posted on their Chromium blog that says that they're going to start marking pages as not secure if they don't have an SSL certificate installed. Now this is a big deal because not only does this affect search engine rankings, but you're gonna have your customers eventually see a big logo at the top that says not secure 
um, coming soon and that's kind of what this blog post is saying now I can help you get this installed today if you want um, I've got the details included in this email with how much I charge to do that or you just give me a call and we'll figure it out all right I look forward to speaking with you thanks then I just hit this finish recording button and now I can just literally copy this URL and I can email it over to this prospect and that's the prospecting now it's a numbers game if you're going to start prospecting and you're just gonna give up and you know after maybe one or two tries you're not gonna go anywhere with this you want to make sure that you're persistent it's a numbers game and follow-up is important too don't just reach out once reach out once write down when you actually made the initial contact and then contact them again okay so let me talk about prospecting because this is gonna be the most time-consuming thing is actually prospecting with this method and finding these. So I have a software that I use to automate this. It's not, I don't own the software, but it's a software I use to automate it. And I'll leave a link in the description to the software, but let me show you how I use this software to automate it. So the software is called SSL Sniper. And what you wanna do is you wanna go and grab yourself a free Mailjet account. Okay, Mailjet is free to use up to 6,000 emails per month. So you can send 6,000 emails per month. So you can create a free Mailjet account and insert your API key here. Okay, once I've done that, I'm gonna come over to the lead search page and I'm gonna type in uh, what I'm looking for. So we could say plumber, West Bend, Wisconsin. And I want all the plumbers within, let's just say 10 miles. And I wanna find up to, we'll just say 15 results. So you can pull as many as you want. Um, I'm just gonna do 15 for this example. And we may not even find 15. There may only be you know, five people that don't have the certificate installed, but we'll just find what we can. So again, this saves a huge chunk of time because now I can go and I can find these people without having to manually go through and click, and I can actually email them and prospect right from the software, which is really cool. Okay, great. So I went through and I pulled a bunch of leads that I'm looking for here. And what I wanna do now is I actually wanna go and I wanna search for the email address. So I hit this little mail button and see if there's an email address available. And if it can find it, it will. If it can, it'll show none. So here I found one right here. So you can actually add in all of your saved leads right here and you can click on the email addresses of any of them once you have them all lined up and you can actually compose the email right here and copy that Loom video into the software and send the email. I normally send an email that says, can you please watch this quick video? And I usually say in the title, I have a quick question. So the subject line basically says, I have a quick question. Can you please watch this video? And they click it and watch it. And Loom will actually notify you when they watched it. So you can follow up with them based off of that too, which is really, really awesome. All right, guys, there you have it. That's the method. I hope you implement it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Below this video, you will see a link to the software that I used in this video to automate it. Pick it up. It's on a great deal if you want to use it. If not, do it the manual way. I don't care either way, but I think it's dope. I like it, so I picked it up. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.